The invention of zero for me is one of the most important moments in the history of mathematics. Um, this is a moment where suddenly a very abstract idea, a, a symbol for the concept of nothing. I mean, why do you need to count nothing? But this really kick-started some extraordinary mathematics, things like the calculus. Even our digital age is dependent on things like ones and zeros. One of the most important things that zero gave rise to was the ability for the common person to be able to do mathematics. Um, before we had a, an idea of zero, um, calculations were done on an abacus. It was hard to record what was happening, and it meant that uh, mathematics was in the power of the authorities, those who could do maths. Suddenly with zero, we were able to record what was happening, and it sort of democratized mathematics. We so take the idea of zero for granted in our modern age, but where did this number first appear? Well, amazingly, mathematics was really vibrant uh, in the Indian subcontinent, and we find zero being talked about for the first time there. And why this manuscript, the Bakshali manuscript, is so important is this seems to be the first place that we see this idea of zero beginning to be born. The Bakshali manuscript is actually quite a complicated document because it isn't just one piece of mathematics, it's many pieces written over, it appears now, quite a few centuries. Um, and it seems to be a document helping, helping merchants to do mathematical calculations. So there are lots of examples and lots of numbers. And this is where we see the zero because in some of these numbers we see a dot this is a dot saying there is nothing here. Um, and so this dot is the one that will eventually open up to be the zero that we use today. The idea of zero as a placeholder is actually very ancient. The ancient uh, Babylonians, the Mayans had an idea of a, a zero as a placeholder. So something like 101 means there are no tens. Um, so we see zero in the Bakshali manuscript being used as a placeholder. But why is this so important as a, a moment in the history of mathematics? Because this symbol eventually gives rise to zero in its own right, a number for counting absolutely nothing. And, and this is a revolutionary moment in mathematics. I've been fascinated for years trying to find the first example of a written zero. And I went out to India and found a zero carved on the side of a temple, which dates to the 9th century. Um, but this Bakshali manuscript, the challenge was, is this earlier? And for years, we just haven't known because, uh, well, the Bodleian Library didn't want to burn a bit to do some carbon dating. But I, I pressed them and said, I would love to know what the date is. So they've now done a carbon dating. And I think everyone was truly shocked to find out that actually this is so much earlier than anyone thought. This dates to the third, fourth century. I think many people are aware that our modern technology depends so much on mathematics, but what I think is often missed is that mathematics has a history. It's come from somewhere. It comes from people coming up with new ideas. And in this document, we see one of the most important new ideas created in mathematics. Now we understand from the third, fourth century. When I started to dig into the history of my subject, I was really surprised to discover how much mathematics was going on in the East, and in particular, the Indian subcontinent. I mean, we have the creation of zero, but that's not all. Um, there are very early signs of the calculus being done way before Newton and Leibniz were doing it. And it goes on today. Um, India is one of the powerhouses um, of the mathematical world uh, in the 21st century too.